I thought I'd share my astrophotography setup. So I'm using um, a Mead LX200, eight inch uh, Casagrande. This is from the early 90s. And they're probably only worth $150, $200. In, in this condition at least, they're, they're really not you know, too pricey. Uh, got the Mead LXD75. I'm not a Mead enthusiast. I sort of just end up with Mead products. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> and ZWO products. I have the, the ZWO filter wheel and camera. I thought they were all reasonably, uh, reasonably priced along with the filters. So, sort of right down the middle, not super cheap, not you know overdone, too expensive. I don't need Astrodon filters because I'm, I'm operating at higher focal ratios. I really don't. I don't have that steep light cone coming in. Um, I am using the F6.3 focal reducer, which I was you know, originally against, because I wanted to uh, image at F10, as little chromatic aberration as possible. However, this does seem to help with star detection, focusing, and just all of that stuff. I'm using the Astrotech ED72, which I originally bought for imaging. Uh, I'm using this for guiding. Got the Orion, um, what is the SSAG Starshoot Auto Guider? See these all all over the place. It's really not that sensitive. QH Y5. I bought it before I really knew what I was doing. I still don't know completely what I'm doing, but I'm learning. Uh, got the. Pegasus Astro Focus motor, the stepper motor attached to a GSO focuser I bought on eBay. This is not the linear bearing focuser, I cheaped out and got the roller bearing focuser. And there is some flex to it that I've sort of adjusted, you know, the tightness of the screws and whatnot to minimize that. The ASI 1600 monochrome camera along with the filter wheel with LRGB, O3, and H2, and obviously it's a five position filter wheel, so I'm not fitting six filter wheels in there. So the, the O3 and the red, or the O3 and the blue, get swapped out with each other every once in a while. 